Nick Akins, thanks yep. for joining us. Sure thing. Since we Thank are you. at the economics conference, yep. I have to know what's the biggest sustainability challenge your industry is facing right now? I think it's making that transition to a clean energy environment, but at the same time dealing with some of the technological issues and changes that are occurring, not only within our system structurally, uh, but also as a nation as a whole. So as we think about energy policy for the future, what that means, and how we invest uh, relative to all the signals that we get, it's a pretty difficult proposition these days. And one of the things that we did learn this year is when it comes to the U.S. power grid, it turns out it is not quite as secure as maybe we thought or maybe we had hoped. Congress, I think, now wants to change that. What do you yeah. think are the steps that need to be taken to make the power grid more secure? I think there's steps that have already been taken uh, during the administration, and really the Obama administration has done a great job of coordinating with the industry in many respects. So you're seeing physical security, cyber security, all those measures and the, the, the discussions with the federal government and the agencies of Homeland Security, uh, DOE and others, uh, that really has become much more robust than it has in the past. Now as far as the, the, um, the, the credibility of the grid itself, we know where the soft spots are on the grid and the industry has been working on that for quite a long time now on addressing the security measures that are appropriate for certain parts of the system and of course addressing cyber security matters as well. So it sounds like you'd rather see the industry be the one that kind of takes the next steps to figure out how to make this a little bit more secure rather than have Congress make it. Exactly, decision. exactly. We don't need Congress to really be involved at this point in time. Obviously there's an interest in it, but there's already we're the only industry that has mandatory standards for critical infrastructure and we're also one that's already policed by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission and NERC, the North American Electric Reliability Council, that really focuses on um, the reliability and the stability of the grid. At a time when America is still dealing with high unemployment and wages mm -hmm. that haven't really budged, the utility sector is actually a pretty good place to be working. They have pretty good salaries. How do you convince people, particularly the younger generation, that they should move to a Kentucky or an Oklahoma and take a job in utilities? <laughs> Sometimes it's people that already live in those areas that just don't want to leave. Um, they, they, don't go close, they want to stay close to home. And one of the things we have to deal with is a, the workforce development of, of the future and some of these jobs are really high paying jobs. A lineman in, in, uh, in the utility industry can make upwards to $100,000 a year, um, but you obviously have to know and understand the business and be comfortable with it. Uh, that's something I think that is a gap there. Uh, most people are starting to look at you know, college and, and liberal arts type degrees when they could be thinking about there's, there's crafts that are available that, uh, that are also a great value for the money. Um, so uh, that's an opportunity for us and we have a large amount of retirements that are occurring over the next few years because there is a changing of the guard that's going on and a real opportunity for young people to, to move into our business. All right, Nick Akins, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.